Hey guys, Grumpy here with episode 12 of our Zero to Hero series as Mercury Guy. So in the previous episode we did a, um, we looked for Tritachion missions, wasn't really successful there, um, but we did find a couple of exploration missions from them that were just randomly generated. So we did that, and now we're at um, minus 15 reputation with them. We would be at plus 5, or, well, we would be at minus 5. No, we'd be at plus five because we lost a relation with a vent that I didn't follow up on that apparently I was supposed to. I didn't know about that. Um, and then we also lost reputation when we were scanned randomly. So because those two things happened, we got pushed all the way to minus 25 and now we're on the slow climb. And the reason we're doing this is so that we get um, commissioned with Tritachion. We need to be commissioned with them because we need access to their ships. All right, so let's go ahead here and um, something that I didn't do last episode is I'm going to take a buffalo with me. And the reason we take the buffalo is just in case we get a uh, transport mission, we can just um, actually let's just take an atlas. We can um, move cargo around without having to buy any um, buy any ships. Which means we can put the uh, dram back. We don't need it anymore. Um, we can grab a little more supply. And we can grab some crew. The fuel capacity from the um, Atlas is more than enough. Alright, let's buy out your fuel. And then let's jump back into hyperspace. So we checked Kulan and Echo Breeze. We didn't find anything. Um, I'm gonna head over to uh, Valhalla and go to Scothi. And if there's nothing there, then we can go to uh, Magic and check out Tribeca. And hopefully, we can find a, a decent mission or a good string of missions to complete. Alrighty. All, right. All the while keeping an eye out for any bounties that pop up or any exploration missions that pop up. Um, you can check that again by going to the intel screen, going to bounties, um, purge, hedge, hedge, we don't care about these, and no system bounties. And then as far as exploration missions go, hedge, Perseans, pirates, we don't care about any of these. Alrighty. And Ragnar Scathi is to the south of the star. So yeah, it's right there. We'll jump in with our transponder on. I don't know if they care, but it's better to be safe than sorry. All right, let's go ahead and check out the bar. Pirates, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's rough. Alright. Let's go ahead and head over to Magic. Yeah, it's complete RNG um, as to what missions are spawned in the bar. But this is really, really uh, a string of bad luck. Normally you find at least like two or three missions with a faction. And by completing the missions you generate contacts. So once you have contacts, it's easier to find follow-up missions. Alright, let's go to Ackman. Nope, transponder on. Alrighty. Um, we have a fleet attempting to fly into the sun. Let's check out the bar. Pirates. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Hello. Yes. All right. I like your growth potential and I can make a $200,000 uh, 
Yes, loan and just pay back 330 in 400 days. We will accept the deal and then we will immediately pay her back. So let's open up the comm directory, let's talk, and then let's pay it back. Boom! Super easy. Yes, that costs us 110,000 credits. It doesn't matter, the credits are not an issue. We'll have plenty of credits later. We need all the reputation we can get. And now I believe she should appear as a contact for us. If we go to the contact screen, no. Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. Um, the reason why Royal wouldn't t Ryan wouldn't talk to us is because we didn't develop him as a contact. Um, I'm sure you guys were screaming that um, earlier. But you need to do develop them as a contact. And now when we go to talk to him, he should generate missions for us. Also, she didn't end up becoming a contact. Sometimes NPCs will become contacts after you complete a mission for them. Alrighty. We'll go ahead and accept that. Uh, we need 20 heavy machinery, so that's something important to know. And then let's head back to Echo Breeze now that we can, uh, now that Royals are contact for us. Keeping our transponder on. And also check the pirate. Okay, there are no. Uh, check the bar. There are no missions. Now, when we talk to him, we can ask him, does he have any work for me? And then he says he has a bounty for me, which is fantastic. Um, we're going to see if we have any bounties near that mission we accepted. Okay. Ask about the other targets. No, that's heading the other direction. Ask about the other targets. That's heading the complete opposite direction. So we'll accept the first one. Yeah, we'll accept the first one, just because it's the closest to it. Um, our other system being down here in uh, Balwam. Uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and accept that. Sure. And then that's all he has for us right now. Alrighty. Let's head to Mysora, grab our heavy machinery, go do the exploration mission, and then go do the bounty. I don't know why I flew out all the way to the jump point. I could have transverse jumped out. It's funny because um, in-game lore states that uh, transverse jumping is supposed to be like rare and um, I think borderline illegal technology and we just do it constantly in front of patrols. Let's go grab our heavy machinery. I think it said we need 200. Uh, I think it said we needed 20, but we'll just bring 100. Also bring some supplies since we're doing the survey. <laughs> we probably don't need 900 supply. And other than that, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're fine. Let's buy some fuel. Let's buy it off the black market first, and then let's buy it off the open market. And then let's check your fleet again. Uh, just a bunch of trams. Anything interesting on the black market? No. Alright. Let us go ahead and head out. We'll go do this one first, and then we'll come back to Balwam. No particular reason. I'm just itching for a fight. <laughs> we haven't fought in so many episodes. Let's 
it's been all questing. Alright. Are you a pirate fleet? I don't know what it is, but sometimes these random um, pirate fleets will generate with massive... Okay, let's not hit every storm. They'll generate like a, with these massive salvage fleets, but the salvage fleets won't be the typical pirate trash, which is, you know, Colossus, Buffalo, Mark II's, Mud Skippers, all that junk. They'll be like actual, like, real fleets. I'm not sure what's going on there. Alright, located in the Tar Star system, and you don't have anything else besides that. Okay, so let's jump in here. So I'm not sure where they're getting their ships from. We got a couple of blinking dots here. Let's see if any one of these are the bounty. Let's see if there's any movement. Usually they like to hide out near planets. So that's where I start the search for them. If not by planets, they'll be by jump points. Go ahead and head over here. There's an equipment cache. Oh, hello. Uh, let's go ahead and move into Engage. Not a scary fleet. We've seen this uh, a dozen times before. Actually, I'm just going to issue a full solid order. It'll be fine. And here we have the beautiful gas giant beneath us. Um, I don't really like these maps because the the uh, parallax of the planet messes with my um, my aiming. I don't know what it is, but like having this object in the background throws me off. I prefer the just blank background. And also, it, it's yellow on yellow, which doesn't help. Okay. Um, I don't think we've done a bounty mission before. So, um, with bounty missions, you don't have to kill every ship in the fleet. You just have to kill the the um, the flagship. And you'll know it's the flagship because it'll have an officer in it. And usually the officer will be the highest level. So this happens to be the, the flagship of this fleet. So if we were to retreat right now, we would still get compensation for the bounty. There you see the power though, I mean, it completely incapacitates this frigate. And it also does a significant amount of damage. Oh, killer. Sharp shooting. Alright. Uh, we'll again claim the hound for the assault chain gun. We'll recover it. Take all your supplies crew and fuel and then like we learned before we can go to the uh, fleet screen and we can just scuttle this and we'll get the assault chain gun for it all right so that is the bounty completed let us go ahead and check out Bawam survey um, the worlds to rocky metallic worlds all right cool and we'll leave this system for another day. Alrighty. Looks like we have a little shadow following us. Let's cut through the clouds here. Alrighty, we're approaching it. We're about three days away now. All right, let's just go through here. 
Um, I bound the slowdown key, I rebound it from S to middle mouse button. So it makes navigation a lot easier for me. Nice. Apparently there's a comm relay nearby. Hmm. That's probably not a good thing. If there's a comm relay nearby, it's probably because there's a pirate. There's pirates somewhere nearby. Oh, or Pathers. Yeah, here's Pathers. Um, let's go dark so they can't detect us. And let's perform a survey. And then let's go ahead and get out of here. You can tell it's Pathers because of the uh, light green. Alright, let's head back to the core worlds. Let's head to uh, Magic, try back in specifically, and see if we can't get another mission with them. Alrighty. That's also one of the benefits of having a small fleet, is that it's really easy to, um, to drop into a system, evaluate, and then get out of there. Man, all this run around, it's definitely going to be worth it. Um, it's a little annoying that we have to go through it. But, uh, tri -tac ships are... Okay. Uh, for this, I'm just going to go dark. For tri -tac ships, it's definitely worth it. And then let's head over here to tri now. Pirates, interesting. All right, so just another pirate mission. That's fine. Out of curiosity, what ships do you have? Just more omens, and then on the black market. Okay, omens and inflector. All right, so here we have an opportunity to earn a little uh, reputation with them. We can go ahead and join the battle on the side of Tritachion, and this should uh, get us some more reputation with them. And it's really good because this is a level 2 battle station? No, this is a level 1 battle station. So this should be more than enough to deal with this small pirate faction, or pirate, uh, pirate fleet. Alright, we'll go ahead and hit continue. And we'll deploy all. Uh, again, we'll keep the omens near us. And our job is just going to be... Um, this is like light security. Alright, now I believe you get reputation based on how many ships you kill. So if we can, let's try to make sure they don't escape. Let's just make sure that uh, every, every kill counts. Alright, I'm going to send the omens to go deal with that mule. You can also go with the Vanguard. I'm going to kill this guy. Actually, the Vanguard might prove difficult. Kill the Kite instead. And then I'll go kill the, the Vanguard. Oh. Or the Station will kill the Vanguard. <laughs> Alright. And the Kite. Nice. So those are all the enemy ships. Um, I don't want any of these besides the Shrike, so let's see if we get lucky and get the Shrike. We do not. We get a couple of Vanguards. That's... 
These aren't good, but I'm going to try something with them um, a little later on. Alright. So we get minus three with the pirates, we don't care, but we get a plus one with Tritachion. So that being a small comp, a uh, small fight, obviously we don't get, you know, that much reputation with them. But some is better than none. Okay. Then let's go ahead and mothball these, and I'll save those for later. We give me our salvage operation. Get a little more out of the fight. Um, let's go ahead over to Kalan. Actually, let's buy some fuel first. Let's head over to Kalan and see if um, we can't get some more missions. Uh, actually, let's head to Myasaur first, drop off these vanguards. They're just eating up fuel for us. For no good reason. We'll go ahead and accept this mission. Alright, and the station is right there. All right, let's head over to Galan and Echo Breeze and see if we can't find uh, a couple of missions. And then at the very least, we do have that exploration mission that's out there. All right, let's head over to Echo Breeze first. I am, my man. Do you have any work for me? Nice, you do. Okay. So we have another bounty mission. This is going in the same direction. So we'll probably end up taking that. But let's see if we can get a bigger bounty. Straight south. Okay, and your third one. Perfect. This is perfect. Uh, so we'll go ahead and accept this. Um, that's heading in the exact same direction we're already going to. You want me to extract somebody from Chorus? I can absolutely do that. That's only going to take 90 Marines. That's no big deal. And it's also against the Pirates, so we don't really care. You know, losing reputation with the Pirates, they already hate us, so hey. And then you want me to drop off a Spy Satellite around Sphinx. Now, Spy Satellites, um, we can definitely do it because we have an Afflictor. So we demonstrated that when we were doing the, um, the other mission to go find Gargoyle. We had to hack the Satellite. So we can do this, but if you don't have a phase ship, something you want to do is you want to check. You want to press the tab key to open up the map, then go to sector. And our target is Sphinx. What you want to do is you want to see if there's a ring system nearby your target world or like an asteroid belt or something near your target world. And if there is, go ahead and accept it because it'll be a lot easier to do this mission. Versus doing a mission like on, um, see like Chits Mostock is located within the, the asteroid belt itself. So this is a really easy planet to sneak up on. As opposed to, cha cha cha, where's a good example of just a planet that's out there. Yeah, you have something like Madiera here where there's absolutely nothing nearby so like you can't sneak up on this planet so if you get a spy satellite mission near madiera and you don't have phase ships like you don't have um a way to sneak up to a planet successfully i'm talking about keeping your your sensor profile below 100 because keep in mind some of these um some of these uh 
star systems will have a sensor relay which increases the sensor profile or the sensor range of the patrol fleets so Madeira being out here in the open this would be a difficult one to to get to same thing with Gilead they have a makeshift sensor array which adds plus 400 sensor range for their patrol fleets and there's no cover here so it's really hard to get to this planet um, if you get a spot satellite mission probably don't want to accept it you can still do it it'll just be a lot more difficult than what it's worth but for sphinx it being near the um near the the ring system we'll go ahead and take it all right and then that is it for now okay cool so we have a couple of missions i think it begins with doing the bounty gearing up for the bounty going to do that and then grabbing our afflictor after we drop all our ships off jumping into samara dropping off the spy satellite and then coming back for a new round of missions um this way we can also do the uh the combat extraction all right so let's go ahead and buy some marines we need 90, I believe it said. Oh, right. We don't have enough uh, crew capacity. Huh. Okay. Uh, we could buy another Heron. I think we will. We'll need two Herons anyway. So this is this is overkill for the mission that we're about to do, but we do need another heron anyway. So let's go ahead and buy it. Let's buy the rest of the marines that we need. We can get more marines from um, Kulan, and then I won't buy any. That's a lie. I'll buy uh, some claws. Well, let me buy one claw and see how they feel. Alright. Can I get away with a trident? I mean, can I get away with another claw? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we'll go ahead and repair the heron. Oh yeah, we need crew too, huh? We need normie crew, not a... Uh, not marine crew. Alright, yeah, we do need herons for the upcoming fight, so this is fine. And then let's buy a couple more marines. Okay. And we need claws, because that's what we're going to outfit the heron with. Alright. Let's just go do this real quick. Since we're already over here. And let's refit the heron so that it has the claws that we need. Um, I guess that's it. You will just have claws. Uh, we can give you our assault chain gun. I don't want to buy too much from the black market because I don't want to cause an issue. But we'll give you one burst PD. This is the silliest looking heron ever. But it's for... Uh, it's just for now in case we have to fight anything. Going to Quarus. We'll refit it properly once we get to um, our armory in Mysora. <laughs> Could give it safety overrides. Right, we'll give you extended shields. And... Um, Insulate engine assembly, reinforced bulkheads, and where's your armor? Blast doors? No. Heavy armor. There it is. That will give you a little capacity, a little vent. All right, let's head over to Chorus. Go ahead and extract that guy. Drop him off, and then we'll head to Myasora. Fit for a decent-sized bounty. 
and then we'll go do the exploration mission. Alright, so Chorus is over here. We can leave our transponder off. On or off, it doesn't matter. Alright. Let's consider our mil military operations. Uh, we'll launch a raid against them. Yes. So they don't have a lot of infrastructure. So this, they don't have a lot of ground defense. If a system does have a lot, like if you want to raid a world, but it does have a lot of ground defense, something you could do is consider orbital, orbital bombardment and then do a tactical bombardment. And what this will do is it'll knock the, um, if we go to colony info, it'll knock the military base and heavy batteries offline. Which will lower the uh, the ground defense, making your marines more effective. All right, but we don't need to do that. We'll just go ahead and launch our raid, and we'll try to acquire valuables, and we'll target uh, the extract operation. Go ahead, and hit select. Uh, the casualties will be light, so they project that we'll lose at least four marines. Let's see if that's accurate. We'll launch the raid. We lost six marines. Okay. Nice. Now with this mission, it doesn't complete once you do the objective. You have to go back to the um, the quest giver. Oh, it's it's second nature to turn off my uh, transponder. Anyway, let's go talk to Ryan, and then boom, we get the uh, improved relations, and we also get the improved relations with Tritachion. And he doesn't have any more new missions for us, that's fine. Let's head over to my Sora, and then let's refit for a bounty, and also for a little exploration. Alright. Ooh. There's another unrelated bounty located up north. Interesting. Alright. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this so you can toggle a mission to be important so that when you go into your um, important screen, it'll show up here in this list. Alrighty. Let's head over here and then let's start fitting for our mission. Alright, if we check the intel screen and we look at our bounty. So here we have a bounty. Um, the flagship is the Eradicator. Then it looks like it's a bunch of Colossus. Um, and then there could be up to 10 other ships in this fleet. Not really going to be a problem. Not scared of the, um, the Eradicator. So let's go ahead and build around that. Um, I definitely want to bring the herons just to make this fight easier. Pirates really struggle against carriers. Okay, let me go ahead and disable Twitch alerts. <laughs> welcome to the uh, welcome to uh, Zero to Hero. Uh, Tabris, you made it to the video. Fantastic. Um, but let's bring two herons. Let's also bring a. Um, Uh, let's bring some Sunders. Yeah, we'll bring Sunders. Um, actually, no, we know what we'll bring. Um, we'll bring Strikes instead of Sunders. Sunders are really strong ships, but the problem is they have poor flux management, so it's very easy for them to flux themselves out. And pirates tend to have a lot of um. A lot of uh, Sabo missiles or just missiles in general so them being flux out is not really good on the battlefield so we'll go ahead and leave those behind let's grab a Phaeton for transportation and then I believe that's it 
Um, between the strikes, ourselves, the omens, and the carriers, this sh sh fight should be a should be a breeze. Okay. Instead of claws, we don't really care about disabling the um, enemy ships. We're gonna just go ahead and bring in um, some heavy artillery. So we're gonna go ahead. Oh, we're gonna strip this down first of all. We're gonna bring in the longbows, and then daggers. Again, longbows. Um... Oh, actually, it looks like we can use tridents even. All right. For our universal, we'll use a hypervelocity driver. I don't know why I'm building both. I should just build one. And then for defensive options, we'll just go PD lasers kind of scattered about. Um, and I think that's it. We could go expanded deck crew, but I don't f suspect them to be that effective against us. So again, we'll just bring the extended shields and we'll name this ship customization pirate. And then we'll go ahead and save it. And then we'll auto fit you as pirate as well. And what this will do is it'll bring the same. Sh oh, you have insulated engine assembly. It'll bring the same layout. Um, it'll try to apply the same layout as best as it can onto the rest of your ships. I don't know why you have insulated engine assembly. go ahead and buy some PD if you have any you don't you have auto pulse lasers so we'll take that for sure and we'll take some herbs okay all right so now it says crew under strength so let's go ahead and grab some crew And then let's go ahead and outfit the shrikes. So ideally I'd put antimatter blasters on them, but I don't think I have a lot of antimatter blasters. I don't have any apparently. So let's just go with um, ion pulsers, sabopods. This is, oh, this is rough. Let's head over to Tritachion and see if we can't find any antimatter blasters. Or head over to Port Say. None on the open market. I'm sure there would be some on the uh, the military tab. No, you do not have any. Mm. Let's check the pirate base. I should have kept the eye out for antimatter blasters. They're extremely good weapons. No, but you do have Reapers and Sabos. We'll buy those then. We'll buy Pulse Lasers and we'll just use them. Um, they're not as, they're nowhere near as effective in combat as Antimatter Blasters. But against Pirates, this should be more than enough. Um, so similarly, we'll give you Extended Shields. Also give you Stabilized Shields. And then we'll add the Vents. And the capacity. Alrighty. Then we'll also name this one uh, Pirate. My caps lock is on. Pirate as well. And then we'll go ahead and apply this like so. Um, right, we're not. Um, I was like, that's weird. <laughs> Let me check something real quick. 
on the auto fit screen there's a couple of options here oh, it added reinforced bulkheads anyway it normally doesn't do that I guess it just had free ordnance points so it decided to do that anyway uh, what happened there is the auto fit just purchased the sabos or it tried to use the sabos so it could match it we're not at our armory so just grab whatever weapons it could find All right, now that we're at our armory, yeah, that's much better. Uh, it grabs the actual weapon systems that we need. Okay, I think this is good to go. The final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab an afflictor. Oh, that's not how you do. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Um, we'll go ahead and grab the afflictor. Bring them into our fleet, and this is what we'll use to complete the uh, spy satellite mission. We'll drop off our ships nearby, go do the spy satellite drop, and then we'll pick up the rest of our fleet and head back home. Alrighty. Let's buy your fuel. Then let's clean up our inventory. Uh, we don't need the marines anymore because we did the extract mission already. And let's grab a couple more supply. And then let's grab some volatiles in case we need to do some scanning. Alright. Head over to Port Say. Max out our fuel because we're going to be doing a couple round trips all over the place. And then we can go do the bounty. Oh wow, we are way over in time. Okay. Man, time goes quickly in these. Um, but I'll end the episode here. We'll begin the next episode um, doing the bounty hunt. We'll also do the survey and then we'll do the spy satellite. I think that'll give us enough reputation that we can go ahead and commission with Tritachion. But um, we'll worry about that in the future. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this longer episode. Um, other than that, Grumpy out.